So I saw on Twitter yesterday, there were a lot of people, a lot of people talking noise in college football and then and lumping in the queen about the, you know, the queen hasn't seen this. The queen hasn't seen that, you know, never seen so-and-so win this conference title and, and all that. But I did go back college football wise and look, there's a lot of stuff college football wise in the queen's lifetime. that I don't think we even think about 96 years, 96 years old that queen Elizabeth II, uh, I mean, probably didn't see cause it's not a big deal in England, but was, you know, happened in her life and she saw a, a great many things. Uh, so she never saw the Cowboys win a Super Bowl. In other words, <laughs> well, right? she not, not, no, no, uh, that's uh, but there are teams that won a national championship in the queen's life that I think a lot of people don't even remember. Oh, I do. I mean, you might Minnesota. Can you Who's top him? five is it, man? I didn't know that was part of your top five. <laughs> it's a setup. It's a well, setup. Grayson, Grayson stole it last week. So. Yeah. Okay. So uh, number five, 1953. Who won in 1953, Smokey? 1950 Army. Maryland. East Mar- Coast team. Maryland won the national wow. f- championship in 1953. Did not know that. No one knows this. Craig, did you know that? Uh, no. See, there you go. Yeah. Yes. So Maryland, it's when good. they say they're a championship winning program, they're not just making it up. It counts. Yeah, it counts. Number four, 1944, 1945 Army. The yeah. last time they won. Is that um, with Glenn Davis and them? Yeah. Coming off of World War II, too. So that uh, kind of impressive that uh, they had enough guys to to win the national title. Or maybe they had more than everybody else. I'd, I'd have to go back and look. Number three, 1990. Colorado and Georgia Tech and Georgia Tech. Yeah, but that's only been 32 years ago, and people forget about that one. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, number two, Syracuse, 1959. Is that Jim Brown and yeah. Ernie Davis? Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. know if they played during that time. Yeah, but uh, Syracuse in 1959 won the national title, and uh, a team that does not get mentioned at all, but Smokey did and ruined it. Minnesota had a three-peat from 1934 through 1937 and a repeat in 1940 and 1941. I they remember them winning five. a chunk of they 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 won, won a chunk. Five. They won a chunk and if you're a Minnesota fan you claim it and you're proud of it. Yeah here's some other teams just bonus uh Texas AM in 1939 TCU in 1938. Yeah, that was with uh, Sammy Ball. Yeah, so or was that? Yeah, I think oh, I think so. Yeah, so there are, there are a ton. We forget about it. It is interesting to look in about 1965 or so. College football. Not that there was a lot of parody of Minnesota's winning five titles, but when college football in the 60s got to really be a thing, uh, it veered into what we see now, where. There's not a lot of names on the list. The I mean, Ivy League country- schools have disappeared. Yeah. Uh, and a lot of others as well. Glenn Davis was the Heisman Trophy winner in 46, and they won three national titles with him. Yeah. yeah. Great yeah. player. And yeah. Jim Brown did not play for Syracuse in 1959. Okay. He was already gone by then. Well, that's amazing they at, won without at him. Best, at best, Ernie Davis was a freshman. Okay. So yeah. I don't even know how much of an impact he had on that 59 Syracuse squad. Yeah. So there are a lot. I, I looked back. Okay, and- he did. He did play on that. Okay see it now so ernie davis yes jim brown no there you go All right. yeah so um, we learned something yeah we did i did yeah the, the queen has seen a lot and she saw a lot of, she was it and just sports wise she was alive she's 10 years old when jesse owens won gold in 1936 yeah at berlin games which i think is the most important sports moment she would go to wimbledon you know yeah and, and be in her seat at wimbledon uh, that's a long life. I man. Would get, wouldn't you get nervous to play in front of the queen? I me, yeah, not necessarily. It'd be pretty damn cool. Yeah, we also playing in a lot of in front of. It was funny watching this documentary on her last night. I was randomly on late and uh, seeing our leaders over the years with her. It's just like <laughs> such a, it like doesn't matter. Like there's like a billion different presidents that she was, you know, basically over. But like, I think they particularly showed Bush, Trump, Biden, Obama. And maybe one or two. Reagan, others. maybe. Yeah. I don't know. But those four and just um I don't know, like he's just so well, American as, like, as, compared to as the queen a princess, of, she dates back to Calvin Coolidge. Yeah, yeah but and it was, yeah. so yeah. <laughs> All regal and everything, and there are guys just you know, like it just it was funny. It was funny to see the 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 difference and, and kind of how they all carried themselves. And and here's this this queen who's treated like this very old school way. You know, everything's very traditional and all that. It's just here comes America busting through with all of our <laughs> all of our various presidents. Uh, I don't know. It was cool. She lived a, an incredible life. That's for sure. Does Absolutely. the queen run England? No. no, the parliament does. Right. Yeah. 
Okay. The pri- prime minister, which they have a new prime minister. Actually, Liz Truss is the new prime minister in England. So you and your stuff with that. That's well, awesome. Well, I knew Minnesota. That's all I'm proud of. <laughs> all right. Uh, thank you. And the chat room, the tech.